Continuing our journey from MSI booth here at CES 2020, this is the Optics MAG 342 CQR, very long product name, but also extremely interesting monitor. Uh, it comes with 1000 R radius, means ex it's extremely curved. It's a WQ HD monitor, so 1440p uh, with TN panel, obviously, because IPS panel doesn't allow this uh, kind of radius with 1000 R, which means that basically it's a radius of uh, one meter or 1,000 millimeter. Other curved monitors typically have like 1,800 uh, millimeter radio, so not that much or not that extreme um, curved. And this one comes with 144 hertz uh, refresh rate, therefore quite quick. Um, it's definitely a very suitable monitor for gaming. The only thing uh, I want to mention is that the stand is not final. Uh, this one was stolen from one of the prestige models that was also standing around here, so that one is not final. I think the stand will be very similar to the gaming monitor here on my right. MSI introduced one new X570 board here at CES 2020. It's the X570 Tomahawk motherboard. Unfortunately, they couldn't give me too much information when it comes to the motherboard. I'm talking about features or price bone point. They only said it will be a medium price point, so I would guess something between 200 and uh, 250 euro. We can analyze the board a little bit ourselves. Uh, luckily, MSI is very good when it comes to marking of the M.2 slots. They always mark generation 4 M.2 slots with Lightning Gen 4 on the cooler itself. The top slot therefore should be one and the bottom one is not marked with Lightning Gen 4, so I guess the bottom one is a Gen three slot and connected probably directly to the chipset. Chipset cooler is a massive piece of aluminium which generally is a good thing and also MSI fans are typically semi-passive which is also good. So cooling wise and chipset I don't really have that many concerns. When it comes to the VRMs uh, the cooling solution really reminds me of the gaming edge Wi-Fi with the difference that this one comes with more surface area so we have a lot more surface area here on the side. Um, this is also a big piece of uh, metal as far as I can see. MSI told me that they don't recommend uh, me to remove the heatsink uh, which I said is fine. Um, if they don't recommend it doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to so We'll just secret secretly remove uh, the heat sinks here in our corner and hope they don't kick us out. So let's quickly do that. Underneath the cooler we spotted an array of 14 faces with ISL99360 power stages. Those are the same power stages that's are, that are for example on the MSI X299 creation motherboard. So a little bit higher quality power stages uh, which is good on a mid-range priced motherboard. We can count uh, 14 faces in total here. I cannot tell you right now which are for vCore or which are for SOC. But looking at the backside of the board we can spot some some doublers which means that this is probably like a 6 plus 1 um, configuration of voltage supply which then in the end is a 14 phase doubled uh, power solution. The top heatsink makes contact with four MOSFETs or power stages in total, has quite some weight, also quite some surface area uh, with those fins on the back and on the front side. So I think if there is some airflow across uh, this cooling unit, this should be some sufficient performance. The main cooling unit makes contact with the rest of the 10 power stages over this thermal pad right here, made of two pieces out of aluminium. The main part is this ma massive piece right here, going to the side here and here, and also contains uh, heat fins on the side here. The top part of the aluminium is just screwed on but because it makes contact to the aluminium should also act a little bit as a heatsink. Unfortunately everything that's in the inner side right here uh, will not act as a heatsink really because on top here uh, we have the IO shield which will prevent um, any kind of air from going inside here so this will not really help the inside for um, dissipating any heat. Mac Core Liquid 360R. That's the name of the new MSI AIO. It's a 360 AIO, which you can tell by the name. It will also be available in a 240 millimeter size. Also two different versions. This one comes with RGB on the block and on the other side uh, there is another AIO without RGB. The one that I like personally a lot more because it looks higher quality. comes with the metal, shield, metal shielding on the block. This one has RGB in the block. Uh, we also got the permission to 
disassemble the block quickly or take it off from the CPU just to take a look underneath like how does the cooling block look like, the cold plates, also is it maybe nickel plated, is it bare copper, so let's quickly do that. Backside is naked copper, no nickel plating, uh, also neglect the thermal paste application right here. I would not even be mad if it wouldn't have any thermal paste because this is just a showcase build and it's not made for any performance or anything like that. I also asked about the channel design of the of the cold plate itself. It's a skived heatsink and it has 0.14 millimeter thin channels on the other side and in combination with a strong pump this should have a quite good performance. Next monitor we're talking about is the Optics MEG3 one CQR. It's a 38 inch IPS curve monitor. Because it's IPS you cannot have that strong of a bend. Therefore it's only 2300R which means 2.3 uh, meters uh, radius of the curve because it's IPS panel. It's UWQHD resolution so 3840 times 1600 pixel, 21 by 9 aspect ratio and what I really like about it, this monitor is the fact that on the bottom left you have an additional screen where you can display all kind of system information, CPU temperature, uh, CPU frequency, everything that it can read out over the MSI software you can also monitor and display on the small display that's included into the monitor which is something that's really cool and I think it's more useful than having it for example on the keyboard or the system itself where you typically don't look at while you're working or gaming. The last monitor we're quickly going to cover is the Creator 321QR. It's a 32 inch monitor that's not curved. You can also see it comes with those shieldings that are attached over magnets um, to the monitor to prevent any kind of light coming from the side. Um, so you have the correct colors everywhere if you're working with Photoshop or something like that. That's it for MSI from CES 2020. Some interesting products for sure. The new AIO, the Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard for X570 and also the very strong curved gaming monitor which was personally my highlight here from the MSI suite at CES 2020. Let me know what you think about those products in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you soon. The last monitor we're quickly going to cover is the Creator 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 321. Yeah, yeah.